Great to have you. Spencer's in Lewiston, Idaho. So we're just going to give him a segment off so we can go fish or something. And speaking of, I know someone that fishes a ton. Also fishing for a win tonight. Her name is Whitney Bauer. She's the junior setter for BYU Women's Volleyball. Whitney, how you doing? Good. Thank you for having me. You are very outdoorsy, right? The, oh, yes. The fam- okay, let's yes. talk about this. We mentioned it on the broadcast before. <laughs> But you guys, you guys are like into like hunting, fishing. Oh, yeah. You can do like this turkey call or something. Yes, I'm kind of jealous of Spencer right now, honestly. That he's in Lewis. Yes, that he's in this. Yeah. And he's jealous of me being at the match tonight. So yeah. I think it's fair. So how, like, how outdoorsy are you guys, your family? Oh, we love it. Fly fishing, hunting, you name it. We're, we're in. You can do all of that. We can, yeah. <laughs> and what's like the turkey call thing? Oh, yeah, I can call turkeys. It's, it's You can like cool. summon them? I, can, I guess in a way, yes. I can call <laughs> them in, bring them in, and then... Yeah, that's it's like the funnest part. So you part. you need now I, we'd have you do it now, but like you have like a instrument or something. Yeah, like a mouthpiece. It. Okay. So I would do it for you right now if I could, but but you can't. I need my mouthpiece. Yeah. You need the mouthpiece. <laughs> okay, we'll do that another yeah. time. Okay, so obviously tonight is a massive game. Mm-hmm. Uh, you guys played a bunch of big games mm-hmm. this year. You played on on the road at at the time. You know, number four pit. They got up to number yeah. two. That, yeah. Ma- that's your only loss. Right. Taylor Ballard Nixon wasn't there. Yes. She, she was out. Uh, you played Utah. You played some quality opponents, Pepperdine and LMU on the road. You mm-hmm. guys took care of business in four. This is a big game tonight. Uh, how you feeling? How's practice been this week getting ready for this one? Oh, we're excited. You know, we, we're just looking to get 1% better every single time we're in the gym. You watch General Conference. Nice. I did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, but um, we're just super excited. Tonight is going to be a really fun game, so we're going to come out with lots of energy. Hopefully we have a big crowd, so, yeah, we're, we're super pumped. There will be a big crowd. Yeah, It's going to be yeah. a good one tonight, and then they'll go to Midnight Madness with basketball Yeah, that's the right. That's, that's a plan. Um, San Diego's the rival in league. Mm-hmm. What has that been like the last couple of years competing for conference championships against the Toreros, who are undefeated in league, yeah. ranked team as well? Yeah, no, they're a really good team, and honestly, right now, the game plan is just to um, serve tough, serve our serves, get them out of system, and, you know, pass well so we can run our offense and you know, distribute the balls to all of our weapons. So that's really the, the the mindset we have going in and just playing good BYU volleyball. So, yeah. Your, your coach, Heather Olmstead, uh, in chatting with Amy and I this week, getting ready for the match, said, I was excited that we didn't serve well but still won over the weekend. Yeah. Because that means you guys overcame some adversity there. Mm-hmm. What did it mean to not play your best in that part of the game, which that's where it starts, mm-hmm. right, but still get really good wins on the road against LMU and Pepperdine? Yeah, it's just cool because then we are able to focus, you know, on our passing or focus on our blocking, which our blocking was has been really, really good. So, you know, we're able to focus on those other aspects of our game, and it's just been super helpful. Yeah. You talked about the ability to distribute to all of your hitters, mm-hmm. and, man, it's fun for you, I bet. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> what is that like in trying to understand, okay, how can I get Kenzie going? How can I get Taylor yeah. going? When do I need to feed the middle? Um, and when am I sliding, you know, with, with mm-hmm. Kennedy or Heather? You have some amazing options. What's that yeah. like to be sort of the quarterback of that? Well, first of all, I am the luckiest setter because all my hitters make me look good. Um, I have, I'm just, I have so many good options. Um, I think it's more like understanding um, the strengths of each hitter. You know, Heather on that line is on the slide is so so good. She's so dangerous on the slide, and Kennedy hitting her deep corner shots, um, and Taylor and Aaron hitting their high line swings, and Kenzie. I mean, Kenzie's a beast in the front row and back row, so. I don't know, just finding ways to help them score has really bettered me as a setter, but it's just, it makes setting so fun. We're talking with Whitney Bauer on BYU Sports Nation. I mentioned you're the teenage setter, so yeah. let's talk about that. You've re- you reclassified, you didn't have a senior year in high school. No. You came after your junior <laughs> yeah. to join your sister, Morgan, mm-hmm. on the team. You're both juniors now. Was that weird? Was that hard? Because, <laughs> like, in high school, people love their senior year. I really yeah. like mine. But you wanted to come be with your sister. You want to get to BYU. And then all of a sudden, you're like 17 years old at BYU and setting on this yeah. top 10 team. What was that like? Oh, it was it was a really cool experience my freshman year. I'm just so lucky because I had Kennedy Eschenberg. You know, I had all the seniors and, and Mary Lake and McKenna. And they were just amazing. They kind of took me under their wing and kind of showed me the way to go. And, and Heather was super, super supportive and encouraging throughout my whole freshman year, making sure I was okay and I was doing okay in school and I don't know, live in situations. So they made it easy and made it fun. So, yeah. There could have been a ton of pressure there, right? You're just coming off a of final four year. Yeah. <laughs> Did you bit. feel that pressure or was it like, it's not me. I just need to get the ball to the right people. Yeah, that too. But I just wanted to play good volleyball. And I was just so excited to come in and play for, you know, the national coach of the year and play for like the best team ever. And they came off, you know, such a great season. And so I just think that I was just so grateful. I felt so blessed coming in and just more excited than anything. So is it, it's two or three of the crowds this year have been um, top 10 
all-time BYU. Yeah. Kind of hanging with that 2018 season where right. there were some crazy crowds. What's it like to play in the Smithfield House when it's one of those nights? Which tonight might be one of those nights. Yeah, fingers crossed. But, no, it's it's crazy. It's such a surreal experience. It's pure energy. You know, and mm. I would put BYU fans up against any other fan base in the nation, really. Um, it's just so cool because volleyball is such a big mo- game of momentum. And it's crazy how much the fans can impact that and, you know, shift that energy, which is huge. And a lot of times, you know, volleyball teams have to create that energy for themselves. But, you know, we get that little extra boost from the, well, I guess not little extra boost, but a big boost from the fans. So it's pretty awesome. I like to say this is a volleyball school. Yeah, it's a volleyball school. <laughs> because the men and the women's teams are amazing here. It's really yeah. fun to watch. What's the, what's sort of the relationship with the men's team? Because, uh, what? Two like two players have married men's players oh, or yeah. whatever, right? <laughs> yeah, we see them. I'm a not lot, talking actually. just romantically. Oh no, <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. Um, no, we see them a lot actually. Yeah. Um, we're always crossing paths. We see each other like passing through the hallways, going to the gym, and I don't know. It's super cool. We're always encouraging each other, and we're each other's biggest supporters. So. And yeah. then the coaches are siblings, of course, of the yeah. respective teams, yeah. and then you you share office space ish you know you guys are on the first mm-hmm. floor they're upstairs yeah so yeah you're literally crossing a ton mm-hmm. okay san diego tonight we talked about how big a game this is mm-hmm. what is it that you see uh from them that has your attention and what do you hope BYU does tonight to get a win yeah um they're a very long and big team you know they have some long players Six, and five so, oppo. yeah right and Rolling's so the beast. yeah so we got to be super scrappy and super defensive because that's just going to generate energy on our side um, you know, obviously, we got to outserve them and outpass them. But, you know, just focusing on what we can control, you know, will put us in the best spot possible. So, yeah. Amy Gant has said you're the best defensive libero in the country and your ability to <laughs> gather up all the tips, right? What is it about that that you have learned to be uh, good at that? Because that's how you beat Utah, in my opinion, is Danny Drews was tipping and crafty doing her mm-hmm. thing. I'm not left-handed, but she is. Um, <laughs> and you were gobbling those up. She was she was neutralized in that way. So mm-hmm. how have you learned to play defense that way? You know, I just I think I have the mindset just to not let a ball drop without giving max effort every single time and just selling out every single time I see the ball. And I hate it when the ball hits the floor without someone going for it. So, you know, that's just kind of my mindset going into any practice or any game. And you got to practice it, obviously. So, yeah, that's kind of my mindset going into it. Do you feel like you are or you will pass your mom up, Caroline, who played at BYU, <laughs> as a volleyball player at BYU? Oh, I don't think so. <laughs> Honestly, she's amazing and she's my idol, but I don't know. That, that's crazy. That'd be cool. <laughs> and I grew up watching your dad. I'm not trying to make you feel young, but I'm trying to make your dad feel old, I guess. Yeah. Uh, Danny Bauer. He's, he's nailing threes in the 90s for BYU yep, men's basketball. Back in the day. <laughs> Was BYU always kind of the thing in your house or did it take some convincing? Oh, yeah. We are BYU's number one fans. Like, we've been BYU fans. I've been a BYU fan ever, ever since I've been, like, three years old. Came out of the womb. I was repping the Y. So, yeah, no, we love BYU. Yeah. It's been fun to see your parents at the matches and see uh, – you're one of how many girls again? Uh, seven girls. Seven girls. Yeah. <laughs> Girl dad. For Girl dad. He's, that's he's right. He's awesome. He's awesome. Well, we're going to have to, the next time we hang out, get the uh, turkey mouthpiece. Oh, heck yeah. And we'll we'll do the turkey call. Yes. Yeah. I can't wait to, I have no idea what that sounds like, but it should be fun. We'll You're see awesome. you tonight at the Smithfield House. Thanks for coming in. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, Whitney Bauer, BYU Women's Volleyball.